A Swarm project enables you to set up custom approval workflows to reduce the risk of introducing bugs into the main branch by grouping sets of files and assigning them to specific individuals for review. To create a project, you must first be logged into Swarm. We are going to log in as T. Williams. Then, click the Add Project symbol. Enter a name and a description for your project. Optionally, you can restrict who can modify this project. If checked, a field is displayed to enter owners. This field auto-suggests Perforce users by their user IDs. Let's enter T. Williams. Next, add at least one project member. Note that existing projects and groups are also auto-suggested. Now add files by entering one or more branches. Branches are defined using Perforce depot paths. First, enter the name of the branch and then the depot paths, one per line. If you are using streams, just enter the streams root as a path for the branch. Streams are also known as branches with brains and are a variant of the body of code. They provide a way of implementing and enforcing code line policy, as well as visualizing code line relationships and the flow of change across code lines. A job filter allows you to specify criteria that are used to associate jobs with projects expressed in field value pairs. A job is a numbered or named work request managed by Helix. Helix jobs enable you to track the status of bugs and enhancement requests and associate them with change lists that implement fixes and enhancements. Jobs can also be linked to other tools such as Jira. By default, email notifications are checked. However, some teams may not prefer to receive notifications for every new review or when a change is committed. At mentioned, users will receive email notifications even if these options are disabled. Automated tests and automated deployment are optional. The default syntax for automated test and deployment is provided in a text entry box when enabled. Once set up, any change in the code base that belongs to the project will trigger a test and in some cases, deploy the application in the staging production area automatically, further streamlining developer workflows. Click Save and your project setup is complete. Project members can modify a project's configuration or delete the project. Unless, only owners and administrators can edit the project is checked, as we have done here. The new project appears under All Projects, where any Swarm user can choose to follow the project.